Historically, the Pecos River has been the lifeblood of an otherwise arid region of eastern New Mexico. In the Pecos River Valley, scrub brush and tumbleweeds give way to orchards and green fields, and through the town of Carlsbad, the dammed river provides a well-irrigated respite from the desert around. Here at the upper end of Lake Carlsbad lies the Pecos River Flume, a crumbling century-old testament to the pivotal role water has played throughout the region's history. Let's venture through the history of the flume and how it has shaped life in southeastern New Mexico and its status today as an icon of the city of Carlsbad. Five miles upstream from Carlsbad, the Avalon Dam diverts the Pecos' river water into an irrigation canal that then parallels the river into town. The canal, once you get past the dam, lies at a higher elevation than the river, and it branches out and snakes through the valley to get to the farms and orchards that line it. In order to get water from the east bank where the canal is to the west bank where much of the land is, a flume was constructed, essentially meaning the Pecos River crosses itself here, which is allegedly the only instance of this anywhere in the world. The original 1890 flume was built out of wood and rebuilt after washing away in a flood, but by 1902 the second one was falling apart. Long in need of a more permanent structure, the current concrete flume was completed in 1903, becoming the largest concrete aqueduct in the world. The water channel crossing it is 18 feet deep and 20 feet wide, designed to carry 1,200 cubic feet per second, supported by a series of reinforced concrete arches spanning the river valley. Like the flume, Avalon Dam washed away several times as well until its 1907 iteration, which has since been expanded twice. The irrigation project, which includes the dam, the canal, and the flume, was overseen by the Bureau of Land Reclamation in what was then the Territory of New Mexico. The Pecos Irrigation Investment Company, now called the Carlsbad Irrigation District, built and maintains the dam, flume, and much of the canal system. Water has often been a contentious resource in this desert environment, and squabbles over water rights are as old as civilization here. The National Park Service has a fascinating and extensive series of articles on the history of the Pecos River Irrigation Company, and I recommend checking that out. I'll link to it in the description of this video. As of right now, the Pecos flume and much of the river is empty. The whole southeastern part of New Mexico is in a prolonged extreme drought. Both the irrigation district and the city of Carlsbad today rely on groundwater for their water source, meaning that life can continue here even when the Pecos river is running bone dry. An interesting effect of this is that they pump groundwater into Lake Carlsbad, which is the dammed Pecos river, to keep it full, meaning that the lake can be full through town, but the river flowing into it is empty. Although the Pecos River is not a reliable water source by modern standards, it made civilization possible for many square miles in the New Mexico desert. The crumbling flume is an icon of the city of Carlsbad and highlights the ingenuity of early settlers here. So although its functional use has diminished over time, it stands today as a monument to the history of this incongruous agricultural oasis in the New Mexico desert. Hey guys, Scott here. Subscribe to the channel and come with me on the next adventure.